Sonoma County is on the leading edge of energy independence, energy efficiency, and reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and our carbon footprint. That's why we're able to attract grant fundings, both in the state level, but also on the federal level. And we're going to be competitive now and into the future, bringing in those resources to make these projects a reality for our community. Airport Business Center originally started working with the uh, Sonoma County Water Agency talking about doing some kind of geothermal heating and cooling system. Geothermal heating and cooling is old technology, very efficient technology, but old technology. But the truly radical idea, the one that the water agency invented, was using treated wastewater and doubling its use as a heating and cooling source. The Regional Geo Exchange Project is a project that was conceived around the idea of building zero net energy communities that can be replicated all throughout the United States and preferably the world. The backbone is a geothermal loop system that runs through a community that can pipe wastewater which can act as a heating and cooling sink to lower the energy needs of the buildings to the point where the balance can be made up through a combination of energy efficiency measures to bring down the energy use of the building and then that remainder can be brought up using renewable energy such as solar and wind power. Well, we knew we had to start somewhere, so we decided to take this building, 404 Aviation Boulevard, and make it a test case for the energy project as a whole. We had already reduced our energy use down using efficiency measures with a combination of lighting retrofits throughout the building and solar. Now we have to address the heating and cooling. So in order to emulate what we're trying to build out there, we went and drilled our own geothermal system out in the parking lot, and we're going to hook it up to the building using heat pumps, exactly like we plan to do throughout the whole business park. Once we do that, we'll have our lessons learned and make very smart decisions economically about how we approach the community project. The existing equipment here at 404 Aviation Boulevard is all rooftop equipment. So we have air conditioners, we have boilers, they're all up on the roof, they're exposed to the elements. When it's hot in the summertime, the heat is pounding down on that equipment. And in the wintertime when it's cold, the same thing. The difference is with this system, we're bringing everything within the building or underground. So the result is energy efficiency and longer lifetime of that equipment. We're actually coupled to the ground heat exchanger, all that pipe out under the parking lot that provides us that constant tempered water source for operating those heat pumps. It's summer and it's hot out here. But down here, it's nice and cool. And in the winter, it's freezing out here. But down here, it's always nice and comfy. 65 degrees. We're taking the renewable energy technique for heating and cooling this building at 404 Aviation and broadening that technology to the entire business park. At our airport Larkfield Wickiep Sanitation Zone Wastewater Treatment Plant, we process one million gallons a day of tertiary treated microfiltered water. That water is stored in two 100 million gallon storage ponds. We're going to take that water pump it throughout the business park. We'll only need two pipes and those pipes will not need to be insulated. One of the pipes will distribute recycled water into the business park. The other pipe would return the recycled water back to the treatment plant. The buildings within the business park could tie into that loop and use that water to heat and cool their buildings. That energy can then be dissipated into the earth on the banks and on the floor of the storage pond. They could also use that recycled water to irrigate their landscapes and for non-potable uses within their building, such as for toilet water. We believe these programs that are kind of under this uh, umbrella of sustainability will not only lower our costs, but will also attract new businesses. And for us, yes, it is nice to help the environment, but bottom line, you gotta make money doing it. We think this will do that. One thing that's common in the United States and throughout the world is that there are a lot of business parks. 
and a lot of those business parks are big energy users. And one of the things that we know is using recycled water, using solar and other kinds of projects locally, you can create zero net energy communities in all the businesses throughout the world. That is something that we're excited about and we know we can make it happen.